Right, we have a six marker here on the required practical on photosynthesis. It says light intensity affects the rate of photosynthesis. The diagram below shows some of the equipment used to measure the rate of photosynthesis. So there's quite a few different ways of measuring photosynthesis. This one has a lamp and an inverted conical flask in water with the pondweed in the water and an inverted test tube. And it says, describe a method to investigate the effect of light intensity on the rate of photosynthesis. And you have to use the equipment in the diagram. So you might have learned this slightly differently in a lesson or in school. You have to try and use your knowledge to try and explain how you'd use this setup here to measure the rate of photosynthesis. So let's talk about independent variables, dependent variables and controlled variables. So independent variables, what are we changing? So this question is all to do with light intensity. We need to change the intensity of light. Easiest way to do that is to move the lamp closer to the pondweed and further away. So we're going to measure the distance from the lamp to the pondweed. Okay, so what are we measuring? The dependent variable. So we have bubbles of oxygen being given off by the pondweed. That is the amount of oxygen given off is an indication of how fast the photosynthesis is occurring. The more bubbles you get per minute, the faster it's happening. So you can do it two ways. You can either measure the volume of gas picked up at the top of the test tube, or you can literally count the bubbles that's being given off by the pondweed. So I'm going to say measure the volume of oxygen collected. And remember to say, in a given time, because it's not the total amount of oxygen collected, it's the amount of oxygen collected in a set period of time. That tells you how fast it's occurring. Now, once you've done that, you move the distance slightly further and repeat, then slightly further, then repeat. So we need to mention that as well. So we'll say, change the distance from the lamp to the pondweed and repeat. Now, what are our controlled variables? What do we need to keep the same in order for this to be a fair test? One of the things you could say is use the same type of pondweed. You could also say control the temperature and you can do that by using a water bath. Then for accuracy points, you can repeat your whole process again and find a mean. And what you have there is six marks for that question.